I have a lot of mixed emotions, but I feel like my biggest emotion is just trying to stay strong because I know that's what he wants me to do. Remembering a Helix High student stabbed to death trying to do the right thing. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is live at the school. The teenager's family and friends are grieving tonight and hoping the killers are caught. When the school day ended, crowds began to assemble at Helix High School to remember Devin Griffiths, whose life was suddenly cut short. How he just like connected to everybody. Devin was Michael Arroyo's best friend. I have a lot of mixed emotions, but I feel like my biggest emotion is just trying to stay strong because I know that's what he wants me to do. Devin was at a birthday party on January 31st. 10 News learned it was a Snapchat party. A family friend says it was well organized and even had someone working the door. An argument broke out between Devin's friend and another teen, which turned into a brawl. Devin tried to help his friend who was being attacked by several young men. That's when he was stabbed. That does sound like Devin because I know he would do something like that. Devin died in the hospital over the weekend, his family by his side. His family was at the vigil Wednesday night, witnessing the candles that were lit for the young man they raised. Please come forward because this kid was taught to stick up for those who were down and he lost his life for it. The plea from Devin's family and friends to teens who were at that party and their parents. Police say the suspect group consists of 8 to 15 people ages 17 to 20, mostly men. They took off in two unmarked vehicles when officers arrived. Please, 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 your children know something and they're afraid. And so they will not tell unless they have the support. So please take the lead and, and call the police. In La Mesa, Anthony Pura, 10 News. And of course, we